a project that I started before starting this channel was a large pendant light that I was going to make to replace the current chandelier in our front entryway. Our foyer area is a two-story tall entryway. So we have this long chain with a giant pendant light. It's about two feet by maybe 18 inches. The style is not exactly uh, our style. And I started working on a replacement using bent wood. Uh, it's actually inspired by a current light that's at, um, I found online at Crate and Barrel. Uh, their version is a much more squat wide version. I lengthened it, uh, the proportions, that way it fits our space better. I have all the necessary components of the light. I purchased the fixtures for the bulb. I have the chain and the cord for hanging. Uh, I'll have to figure out how I'm getting up to that second story to hang it, but that's future me's problem. Uh, currently where I'm at is I started with a large slab of pecan. I sliced, this is what's left of it. Um, this was the unusable part because of this giant crack down the middle. I may find use for that in the future. But what I did was cut all these quarter inch slices from that slab on the table saw. This is not it, this is walnut. I cut about 50 of these uh, quarter inch by by about two and a quarter by 30 inch long pieces for bent laminate. The whole light was designed on the computer using CAD software uh, by myself. This allowed me to figure out the proportions along with uh, the exact curvature that I'd like it to be at. From that CAD model, I was able to print off a full-size template of the curve that I'd like to get. From that curve, I applied that curve to some plywood, cut out four three-quarter inch thick pieces of plywood, more than the length that, that was needed, and I attached these heavy-duty toggle clamps. That allowed me to place two boards on top uh, with glue in between and then clamp down either side of the board along with a few clamps in between just making sure I have even pressure across. After removing from the clamps I was left with a little more than 20 pieces of this these curved pieces of wood. They were still a bit oversized. Um, they were a little longer than they needed to be and they were a little bit um, wider than they needed to be. So after they're all glued up I could cut them down to size. As you can see, some of them still have a little bit of burn marks from cutting them out of the main slab. From there, I'll continue to sand them, um, clean up the faces, make sure they're smooth, and also ease over all the edges. And that's where I'm up to now. So I will continue with the sanding process, getting them all ready for the next step. Next step. I still have to figure out. Let's get started.
So what I've been doing is, as you saw, I glued up these uh, these rings, and they're actually 20 segments, and each end is cut at a 9 degree angle. So it's 20 segments around, and it is, let's see, about 20 and 3 quarter inch um, diameter. So what these are going to be is the top and bottom structures that will hold all of these ribs in place. Each one of these slats will come out about an inch. Um, so I'll attach each one of these to the upper and lower part of this structure. So the idea is, I mean, basically I'm making an open barrel. Um, what you've been seeing me work on is not only rounding out the outside of this um, circle, but I'm also beveling the edge enough that when I have these slats on, because the slats, of course, are bent, the, the top is slightly in and the bottom is slightly in as well. So I need the um, I need the rings to also reflect that top and bottom angle. Also, it's not a perfect circle. Each one of these, um, each segment has a flat area that's about the width of the, uh, the um, slat. So I can have a good surface for gluing. I also plan to have a dowel at every center and a dowel here, um, whatever the distance ends up being. That way I can register all of them in the same exact place. I can drill a hole in the same exact place for all of these. It won't go all the way through. Um, so it'll go about halfway in. The glue is going to do most of the work and then I'll have a hole in each one of these. I can take the center mark and transfer it around and have the center of each flat area. I don't, I still need to smooth out the inside. I wanted that to just to be a nice perfect circle because the idea is when all the slats are together is I'm going to have a piece of fabric that's stretched between the two circles to create, it's going to be an open weave fabric hopefully letting some light out, but obscuring the inside. You can't really see the bulb. But right now, since I have the bevels on these circles, I want to maybe clamp up a few of these boards and just get a sense of how this is going to look. So I'm gonna try that, see how that works.